In this problem, we are asked to find the work done on an object of mass m that travels along the x-axis with its position function given by the cosine of t between t0 of 0 and t1 pi over 2. The easiest way to go about solving this problem is to recall that the work done on an object is the difference of the kinetic energies. one-half mv1 squared minus one-half mvo squared. So in order to do this, we need to find the velocity function, which is easy. All we need to do is take the derivative of the position function. The derivative of cosine of t just gives us negative sine of t. So now we'll plug in the two times that we're interested in and see what the velocities are. Velocity at time t0, negative sine of 0 is just going to be 0. t1, negative sine, pi over 2 is just going to be negative 1. So now we can plug these two values into our work equation and see what we get. 1 half m, m is just going to stay as it is, we don't know what the mass is. v1 squared, it's negative 1 squared, so that just becomes positive 1. So the first term just becomes 1 half m. And then you'll notice that we have a vo squared, but that's just 0. So this whole term cancels out to 0. And we are left with 1 half mass as the total work done on the object. 